Tell us something about your your acting journey. Ashutosh Gawarkar ne kuch dekha hai to kuch to hai mujhme. Uh, you guys are introducing some some really big talent. That can that can happen uh, last year with uh, A R Rahman sir presented. Ab decide kijiye aapko film industry mein rekha banna hai ki Smita Patel banna hai. Ye Bollywood wale to tabhi aate hai jab inki picture release hoti hai. Jitne bhi hair commercials aap soch sakte hain. Parachute ho, Dabar ho, Levon ho, Sun Silk ho, sab maine kiye hain. Nahi ho sahi sahi kiya aapne. <laughs> Hi this is Vishakha and you're watching Bollywood Hangama We have the uh, Vishakha Singh uh, a very unique personality फिल्मों से उन्होंने शुरुआत करी है एज एन एक्टर बट नाउ शी इज नॉट ओनली अ फिल्म प्रोड्यूसर शी इज एन ऑन्टरप्रिनोर एंड शी इज डूइंग सम वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स फॉर द इंडस्ट्री प्लेयर हैविंग यू विद अस ऑन बॉलीवुड एंगामा विशाखा द प्लेजर इज ऑल माइन थैंक्स फॉर इदोन इन अ न्यू रोल इन अ वे इन अ वे इन अ वे व्हेन वी मेट यू इन आवर ऑफिस इन लो अप्रैल इट वाज फॉर फुकरे यस फॉर फुकरे आई मीन इट्स बीन अ लॉन्ग लॉन्ग टाइम राइट एंड यू 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 बीन अ national award winning producer since then uh, and now you're doing a very very interesting things which we'll talk about yes. but uh, but tell me um, it's been it's been a very interesting journey that you've had including um, four summers in uh, in venice from what i understand rome rome yes yeah so yes. country is the same <laughs> at least <laughs> so i i I'm a, i'm a huge fan of anyone who who takes uh, such sort of uh, initiatives in terms of you know working on their own lives right because many times we we work too much on our profession Absolutely. and maybe they, maybe we stop living at at time so tell me how's been how's been uh, how's been your journey so far i think the journey has been great um and i think i will attribute a lot of the the journey that i've taken to mm. the journey i've had with films mm. because i think as as an actor the first decision when i decided you know to become an actor that itself meant that i was going to take a risk in life right mm. and i think uh, with acting because i had lived quite a few lives in various films mm. i had reached a saturation point and i wanted to literally lead the real life and mm. it's been a good journey it's been a good journey and i mean i literally pat my back at times say okay shaka i'm proud of you no I, i think you should be you should be <laughs> and uh, so khele hum ji jaan se you, you started off with khele hum yes. ji jaan se you've uh, you've been part of fukre you've you've been part of uh, several films down south from what i understand yes. um and then you turn a producer so t- tell us something about your your acting journey first so um you know acting actually happened because way back i, w- I was uh, very very young when ashish sir had spotted me for another film ashish gwarkar mm, and i had been in touch with him for a long while nobody from the family is uh, in the film industry but mm. uh, i was i was into writing and i was a cultural captain in school so i think somewhere that stage fright never really happened and i knew i i could do well on stage uh but when ashutosh gwarkar spotted me for a film and uh, you know this is before khele hum ji jaan se i knew I, there was just this thing that ashutosh gwarkar ne kuch dekha hai to kuch to hai mujh mein you know mm, of course but then uh films were never the be all and end all because there was a lot of focus on academics ghar pe and uh, because my parents always believed ki education will never go waste and you know the very act of you going to college taking a bus interacting seeing people around you uh interacting with various strata you know people from various strata of society right, right. going to college learning not just that bookish knowledge you learn a lot of, of uh, become a bit worldly wise to aap realize nahi karte aap kab life ko absorb kar lete hain so i think that really contributed in my growth and uh, yeah so fell fir hua ye ki as luck would have it i got a lot of modeling offers and i think aap i think 2008 se leke 2010 I must have done something like 140 commercials. Uh, जितने भी हेयर कमर्शियल्स आप सोच सकते हैं पैराशूट हो डाबर हो लिवॉन हो सनसिल्क हो सब मैंने किए हैं नहीं सही सही किया आपने यू नो बाय द ग्रेस ऑफ गॉड 10 12 साल बाद अभी भी बाल हैं सर पे व्हिच इज ग्रेट सो आई डिड ऑल ऑफ दैट एंड देन आशु सर वाज मेकिंग खेले हम जी जान से एंड uh, उस टाइम पे आई स्टार्टेड डूइंग सम साउथ फिल्म्स देयर वाज नो स्ट्रेटजी इन माइंड यू नो आजकल के व्हेन आई सी यंगस्टर्स कमिंग इन दे प्रिपेयर्ड you know dance week training ki hai fight training bhi le li hai acting class bhi le li hai i was always unprepared you know i mean i never prepared for acting i never had any dance classes and god knows i cannot dance i mean i, I always tell people i'm like abhishek bachchan i can only emote uh, dance mai nahi kar sakti but yeah so when ashu sir offered khele hum ji jaan se and i tested for it i was very excited because here i was going to perform the role of preeti lata varidar i i don't think i'm pronouncing her name correctly uh, because she is called the veer kanya of calcutta of bengal and it was real life martyr ka role and i was very excited 
and i remember when i was i took on that role there was a director in the film industry who said ye aap kya kar rahi hain there's dipika padukone in the film there's abhishek bachchan in the film and aap decide kijiye aapko film industry mein rekha banna hai ki smita patel banna hai mm-hmm. i said i love both of them but i want to be smita patel and i was very clear back then mm-hmm. so anyway khele hum ji jaan se happened and dear sal you know we were in the film and sab kiya and then the film bombed at the box office mm-hmm. एंड आई सेट भाई मुझे तो समझ में नहीं आता आप इतनी मेहनत करते हैं आप इतनी ऑनेस्टी से शिद्दत से काम करते हैं पिक्चर बॉम हो जाती है सो आई सर आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड दिस आई आई पैक माई बैग्स एंड आई वेंट टू लंडन एंड आई वर्क विद माई फादर ही इज अ वी सी देर ही इज अ वेंचर कैपिटलिस्ट है एंड फिर वहाँ काम किया बट इट जस्ट सो हैपन कि वो जो एक फ्लॉप फिल्म थी खेले हम जी जान से इट एक्चुअली वन यूर नॉमिनेशन एट स्क्रीन अवार्ड्स एंड स्टार डस्ट एक्चुअली या एंड बट उस फ्लॉप फिल्म ने मुझे चार फिल्में दी 2012 में घर बैठे बैठे यू नो सो आई थिंक सो दैट हैपेंड एंड देन आई डिड दोज फोर फिल्म्स आई गॉट फाइव फिल्म्स इन साउथ इंडिया डिड दोज तो एक एक जो चाह थी कि होता क्या है आई गॉट इट आउट ऑफ माय सिस्टम एंड 2014 दिसंबर आई जस्ट न्यू आई डिड नॉट वांट टू एक्ट आई मीन आई स्टिल लव एक्टिंग बट द एम्फसिस हैड शिफ्टेड फ्रॉम एक्टिंग टू लुकिंग गुड एंड अटेंडिंग इवेंट्स एंड आई आई पर्सनली फील इट्स अ वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम बिकॉज आपका टाइम ही आपकी करेंसी है एंड अगर आपका मेजोरिटी ऑफ टाइम गोज इन दैट यू नॉट डूइंग जस्टिस सो आई सर वेल इफ आई वॉन्ट बी एन एक्टर आई कैन बी एन एक्टर इन एनी मीडियम द यू एस पी इज मी आई एम द प्रोडक्ट लेट्स टेक अ ब्रेक एंड दैट्स वेन आई लेफ्ट एंड आई वेंट टू इटली Right, and you Before, spent yes. four summers over there. Yes, and you've been, um, I think, a successful producer because you you understand um, how much how much is needed for for producing a film. So you know f- what I personally always felt that Khelem Ji Jan say I still remember when I came out of uh, the press show, and so I wrote it. On, on, I wrote a review on my blog randomly. Acha. And you know, so I, I got a call from from Ashutosh, and you know, he really liked what I'd written hmm. because I liked the film. So. I personally, I've, I've always maintained that it was a good film. The budgeting was wrong. I agree. Oh God, Ashu sir, please go some other way. I just, I, I agree with you because yeah. it's not the film so, that fails. It's, it's the budget it's has the to budget. justify the budget. So, yeah. uh, did that, did that teach you in terms of as a producer when you turn producer? Uh, so you know what happens is, us time pe toh I was an actor. So I, I knew the other side of the game, mm. right? I knew ki okay, as an actor, ap itni mehnat karte, it's a team effort and everything. Mm. but uh, we have to also remember ki yes budgets need to be justified but ashu sir could have pulled it off unka level hai you know at mm, his level course. he can definitely mm. do it um now that i am a producer and i produce independent films right mm. um i build and in fact my friends actually joke ki tum garib filme banati ho you know but uh, i peddlers, like real peddlers aapne banayi hai ha peddlers mein i was a co-producer haramkhor mein i was a pro, uh, co-producer with anurag mm. kashyap and gunit monga and mm. fact i need to thank them because it is because of them that i started this journey फिर उसके बाद आई मेड एक यू नो देन आई आई एक्चुअली प्रेजेंटेड ओनाटा इन सैम बिच वन द नेशनल अवार्ड ब्यूटीफुल फिल्म फिर उसके बाद ऑफ कोर्स अटकन चटकन हैपन लास्ट ईयर विद ए आर एम आंसर प्रेजेंटेड बट इन सब जर्नी में येस यू नो यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द इकोनॉमिक्स एट द एंड ऑफ द डे फिल्म आर अ बिजनेस तो यू हैव टू वर्क बैकवर्ड्स इट के नॉट ऑलवेज बी अबाउट एंड आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग इन इन कंपेरिजन में खेले हम जी जान से बट इट इज creativity plus business they have to go hand in hand of course and you have to be you have to understand that it is not about you as a producer making that first sale and making your money you have to ensure that everybody wins along the chain you know so from your actors from yourself from to the distributors to the platform it has to be a win win for everybody that is the only way we can all grow so have smaller margins initially grow gra- gradually and that's what i believe in like a blockchain like yes absolutely yes like a blockchain <laughs> all right so uh, and you know right now i think you are doing something which is which is really futuristic so i just had uh, sukriti and prakriti kakkar the singers uh uh-huh. and i asked them that what are your views on on nfts both of them they were like that we are we are having a meeting tonight and um, if this is the future and this is something right. which is very interesting so i told them that um as i think some indian artists in canada they they've sold their nft uh, music nft for 1 and 1/2 crores right kebar vasu they were like uh, yeah so mm. they were like uh, how the hell that, did that happen so this is something which is which is so so cool so uh, so how did how did uh, this entire journey with nfts happen for you and so now you guys are introducing some some really big talent yes we are from india yes absolutely so आई थिंक यू नो लाइफ में डॉट्स होती हैं लाइफ अनफोल्ड एज इट शुड यू नो तो कहीं ना कहीं डॉट्स मिल जाती हैं सो एक्टिंग हैपन 
and you know I started producing films. Thoda macro vision mila when I went to Italy and you know I was able to interact with international talent and you know observe a lot. Mm. And uh, you discover different facets to yourself. Yeah. Uh, because when you're an actor, you're just absorbed. You're in the role and you're playing somebody else, as I said. But when I went there, I got so much time to just read and observe. And suddenly I was hearing these words like startup and Bitcoin and crypto. And uh, you know, to more interest pale jaga. So I started up, uh, started up with a chatbot for celebrities. Uh, where we made uh, interactive chatbots for Kamal Hassan sir's Vishwarupam, uh, South Indian star Vijay's Mersal, uh, Samantha in in you know in Andhra Pradesh unki film U Turn ke liye, then meri apni film pukre ke liye. So chatbot banaya. I worked with the developers. I had my own co-founder. You know, then we went into built a SaaS tool, software as a service, which was a fan engagement tool, and uh, the Canadian government invited us there. Wahan par it just so happened that during the pandemic, sab pause ho gaya. Ab fan engagement tool tha influencers ke liye. Pandemic who influencers couldn't go out, no videos happening. How do they engage with the, with their uh, you know uh, fans, yeah. fans? So that's when these NFTs were had become a big buzzword. Wahper and we were like, wait a second, uh, non fungible tokens. Yaha work kar raha hai. Things take longer to reach India, but sara software talent hamare India se aata hai mainly. So we said, why not get the talent from here? You know, build. The NFT platform, and we got very lucky that uh, this big India's most trusted crypto exchange then bought the company, and you know we are now working with them. And it was very simple. I said the dots couldn't have connected better because up non fungible token ki baat jab karte hain, it is for creators, hmm. and it's not about selling; it's about creativity, right? Agar aap aap ek koi chiz bech pi, lekin wo aap tabhi bech paenge agar aapke paas uski kahani, uski story woven ho. And I don't think uh, story is better told by anyone else than creative people from our industry. Yeah. So I think it was just the the perfect dot that happened. But yes, it's a great journey, Bollywood to blockchain. I think that's how I would call it. <laughs> that's a that, that's an interesting one. So now now with Mr. Mr. Bachchan um, coming out with his NFT, I think in November. Yes. Right. Now that that is as as big as it gets, and I, I believe he's he's reciting his father's poetry. Yes. That's what he's yeah. doing. Yeah. Yeah. How how does it exactly work? Like say, Mr. Bachchan is making a video. Where he's reciting his father's poetry, and it is put on NFT. Then what happens? So let's first understand what non-fungible tokens are. I know mm. you know it, mm. but just you know, quick still crash learning. course. Still learning. Still learning. We all yeah. still are. You mm. know, the non-fungible tokens are very simple. Simple. Hota hai. The first time I actually heard the word fungible, I was like, "Ye fungi, fungus. You know, kya hai? You know, it just sounded very weird." Mm. I actually did my research, and we, you know. You know, I understood that by non-fungible token is nothing but something. Fungible is basically जो आप replace कर सकते हैं, non-fungible जो आप नहीं replace कर सकते, एकदम unique होता है. तो हम जो भी अपना content create करते हैं, we put it on our social media platform, and as long as we own the IP, we can prove कि हमने create किया है इसको, we can put it on the blockchain. Now, blockchain as a technology is, I don't want to get too boring, but blockchain is uh, is basically a verification mechanism जो कि ग्रुप ऑफ इंडिविजुअल्स करते हैं तो अगर आपने जैसे आपने मुझे कुछ बेचा राइट इंस्टेड ऑफ सेफ यू गिवन मी सोल्ड मी समथिंग एंड पेड यून अमाउंट इंस्टेड ऑफ अ बैंक रिकॉर्डिंग द ट्रांजेक्शन इट इज रिकॉर्डेड ऑन द ब्लॉक चेन वेर अ ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल वेरीफाई सो अगर दस लोगों ने एक चेन बना के वेरीफाई कर दिया कि येस फरीदून ने विशाखा को ये बेचा देव ऑल वेरीफाइड इट इन देयर अकाउंट बुक्स सो उनमें से एक भी इंसान अगर कुछ एरर करता है इट गेट्स नॉलीफाइड बिकॉज देर आर नाइन अदर पीपल Saying that no, this transaction has happened, and that is why it is very authentic and tr- and transparent, and it and the power remains with the people. So, ये तो होगी blockchain technology. अब हमारा जो non fungible token है, जो हम content create करते हैं, we put it on blockchain for sale, and that is why it is unique because, um, जितने भी creators and influencers, we all have something of value that our community feels they can uh, be a part of. And uh, that is why I think this has taken up in a big way because यहाँ पर क्या होता है your fans or your community can directly collect something th- you know that they like of yours and that is very very unique. Now आपका question क्या था बच्चन सर से related? Mr. Bachchan is is reciting uh, his father's poetry. He's right. making a video out of it and he's putting up as an NFT. Then what happens? So uh, Mr. Bachchan, now the beauty of this poetry, for instance, is that. The IP belongs to the creator. In the offline space, in the real world, he can continue exploiting the rights of that IP any which way he wants. 
he is selling the virtual rights of that NFT, which means only on the blockchain, he's putting it up for sale. A fan or a collector will see value in that and come and, come and buy it. Now this collector can buy it only for non-commercial use. Okay, that means on that collector ke ghar pe jo uh, video hoga uh, is is poetry ka, he can screen that to his uh, group of friends for bragging rights. You know, it's like an M.F. Hussain painting, which is your house. It has no tangible value. It cannot provide you with anything else. You can only admire it. And that's how this NFT will be used and that in that collector's house to probably, you know, show off to his friends. So there's no, uh, non, uh, there's no commercial use. Plus, the collector cannot take it offline and make copies of that, you know, and sell it in the, online, uh, in the offline space. So that's the beauty of it. Because it was an IP right that was before non-existent. Tha, and now, people can exploit a new source of revenue or a stream of revenue with the blockchain. Right. So uh, now you, you guys have introduced Manish Malhotra recently. Yes. Um, and there are uh, designs of say Alia Bhatt, for example. Yes. Uh, so how does, how does that work and what has been the response so far? It was a completely sold out collection. Mm. Completely sold out within like, we you know, the NFTs were being uploaded, we call them minting. And one minute, two minutes, 12 seconds, sold out. You know, it was a phenomenal response. And these mm. are uh, the first sketch that he had made for Deepika Padukone for Ye Jawani Hai Diwani. Mm. Then uh, Lisa Ray's uh, photograph taken by uh, the first, you know, camera was time. Ka, I think it was the DSLR camera, 1998 ki photograph. That got sold off. Uh, then there was apna Alia Bhatt ka ek sketch that he I had saw made. That, yeah. Yes, I saw that, yeah. and this iconic Karina Kapoor, uh, you know, uh, very starry black gown that she that he had made. That got completely sold out. And an iconic video again where uh, he had done a, a, a show for uh, for an organ for an for an NGO. And during the finale, uh, when he had to come and take a bow, it started raining. And it was beautiful because there was, of course, Dia Mirza and then there was uh, Mr. Manish Malhotra. They were popular models. It was just beautiful. And he said it meant, it basically showed that the show must go on. Come rain or shine, you just continue working, you know. So I think that was a beautiful thought and it was a completely sold out collection. Now, of course, a lot of people say, Ki, ye kya hai? I mean, there's no tangible value to this and it's, it's ka commercial use. Bhi nahi. Why should we even buy it? Uh, to this, we always tell people, you know, so the, the main thing a lot of times people say is, so what? We can right click it and download it on our computer, right? We have it. To that, I always tell people, if I have a share certificate of Tesla on my computer and you download it, it still belongs to me. You don't own it. I'm the one who's going to reap the benefits of that and not you. Of course. You know, so that's the only way to explain it. Okay, so uh, what is, so if we can, if we can just uh, tell our audience that, um, that the, the numbers which are coming in, so what, what, is, uh, what, is, the, what is the cost at which, uh, uh, Manish Malhotra's show was so. Uh, Mr. Mal, uh, I can't. Uh, I'll, so there was the the most expensive um, NFT was sold for three thousand dollars, approximately three thousand dollars, which mm. was the Karina Kapoor sketch. Right. And the others were priced between uh, one thousand two hundred fifty dollars to two thousand dollars, which right. again, that is the value of his sketch. Will be on the blockchain. For, he hasn't even monetized it in the offline space. Right. You know. And I think there's a collage of, of sketches that you mentioned to me. I think that has sold for more than $60 yes. million? Dollars? That was 50, uh, yes, $69 million. $69 million. Dollars, that was people's is, artwork. Right. Yes. Okay, and a lot of people, they're very, very enthusiastic about uh, music, uh, how, how that can be leveraged on, right. uh, uh, on NFTs. Uh, nuclear, I believe you guys have yes. are working with Nuclear. Yes. So, so t tell us how is how is music work, work function? Say, for example, a creator is creating a, 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 like a song, for example, and mm. making a song. Right. Then he he or she is putting up as an NFT. Then what happens? So again, uh, you know, a lot of times you creativity is key here. Okay. Mm. Now, if you are a new new singer or a new music composer mm. and you know how difficult it is to find producers and to sell your music. Mm. So you, you will compose some tune and you'll put it out on your social media and it's lying there and it's mm. a great way to get noticed, fine. But while you wait for that, for somebody to notice you, you can still put that same music on the blockchain and A, first put your, you know, uh, proof of ownership on the blockchain out there. Now here what happens on the blockchain is the crypto community is so niche so niche mm. that the chances of you finding a collector is higher here than you finding a producer in the offline space. Mm. 
mm. right? Because there, there's a huge clutter. Not everybody's tech savvy, and the crypto community is very tech savvy. They're tech savvy, they're crypto savvy, they're investors. They're a uh, lot of them have the the you know they have the ability to buy and collect, and they understand the trading value of the asset. Mm. So yeah, uh, so for music composers, you can it, you can actually put your tunes, you can put your songs. Uh, you can put your poetry, you can put your lyrics, uh, anything. But it helps if it is also supported with some sort of a poster work or some sort of a visual as well. Because mm -hmm. NFTs, at the end of the day, are an audiovisual experience. Right. No, I, I saw someone. Someone, I think, something on on uh, on Ganesh. I think someone made a forty-five second. Uh, right. So that was like uh, a picture. That's, and yes, with, with so, the and that singer uh, Neha Rajpal, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I mean, we never thought so. We were under the impression that okay, NFTs, blockchain, tech savvy people, and mainly youngsters, you know, so 18 to 28 year old uh, creators and collectors are also fairly young, you know, up to the age of 35, etc., because they're mm -hmm. very, very crypto savvy. But India being India, mm -hmm. you have devotional NFTs selling, you know, which was huge, mm -hmm. huge, you know, and it was quite interesting and very interesting new use cases are coming up now, you know, so we've had augmented reality NFTs uh, happening. And music space, of course, Nuclear has, uh, Ritwiz and Nuclear dropped their NFT. We had Sunburn Music Festival dropping their first round of NFTs. Everything was sold out. So that's been great. Um, we've just had uh, Divine, Gully Boy. Right. You know, he's, dropped his, he's dropping his NFT with, with uh, Shantanu Hazareka. So very interesting use cases. These are very, up. very interesting times. Uh, so as you were telling me a very interesting um, story that uh, one of your producer friends, um, her brother apparently gave her uh, ethereum on on, on raksha bandhan <laughs> yes you know so this this entire we are getting into a world where assets are no more merely yes in terms of property or gold it's like digital assets absolutely because mm. i think you know uh, we come from a generation where our parents believed in building assets right, right? Uh, where tangible assets were it you know your wealth uh, the number of properties you had kind of signified how much wealth you have you know mm. Uh, we are moving to, I think our generation is the generation that wants to travel, you know, we want to be a little lighter. But the next generation, I think, definitely wants to be light. They are an asset light generation. They don't mm. want to be bogged down. They want to be digital nomads. They want to travel the world. They call themselves uh, global citizens, right? So in a scenario like that, you don't want to have too many properties and you don't want to have too many assets, you know. You want to be able to be, you want to be free. So that is where this whole concept of virtual and digital assets come in place. I mean, you have people selling off uh, Mr. Mukesh Ambani's digital, you know, house in the virtual space. You know, it's it's bizarre and it's mm. happening. It's happening, you know. Mm -hmm. that, that, that is true. Okay, so, so Vishaka, what do you think is the future like when it comes to NFTs, when it comes to this entire digital um, world in a way that we, that, that we are entering in a huge way. So I was watching a video and it, it, it said that blockchain technology, it is, it is as revolutionary as, as internet. Absolutely. And uh, so what, what do you think is the future for the entertainment world? The future is huge. It's, it's very, very um, bright. The only key here is for the entertainment segment. Now there's, you know, why are NFTs doing well? Because it is artists who are hungry to innovate and they were looking for a new source of revenue, mm. okay? And they were looking for the right collector to pick their artwork. So they learned, a lot of them learned what blockchain is. They learned to use crypto. They learned to use crypto wallets. They, they did the first round of homework. So that is the difference here. So it's mm. only people who want to innovate. Mr. Manish Malhotra wanted to innovate. He wanted to be the first one. Now, if you are a brand and you want to be relevant in the long run, you need to engage with this young community because so far, in the last four months itself, the crypto community has grown up to ten mil to being 10 million plus in number. These are all Gen Z and Gen Alpha. Okay, Our youngest NFT artists are 12 and 13 year olds. If we want to be relevant, we need to communicate with them. To communicate with them, we have to be here. Now, the key difference that the, that the entertainment segment and especially our film industry needs to know is, with all due respect, we need to get the Diva attitude out. Diva attitude. Absolutely. It cannot be, you know, we want to drop an NFT and what will you do for us? No, what will you do to mm. communicate with this generation? Because this generation is full of stars. 80% of them will become YouTubers. Mm. They will be stars in their own right. They don't, you need to earn their respect. You need to be cool and mm. you need to find a way to innovate. And yeah, um, and don't expect somebody to do the legwork. You will have to do the legwork to communicate with this generation and actually engage within your community as well. Because the biggest uh, problem that fans have is, 
ये बॉलीवुड वाले तो तभी आते हैं जब इनकी पिक्चर रिलीज होती है सो यू नीड टू बी इनोवेटिव एंड शो देम दैट यू आर विलिंग टू कम्युनिकेट एंड गो दैट एक्स्ट्रा माइल एंड एंगेज विद दैम सो डू डू यू सी द फ्यूचर एज एक्टर्स और आर्टिस्ट गेटिंग पेड इन क्रिप्टो मनी दिस इज लाइक that that x amount of money uh, by the time the project finishes it may it may have multiplied absolutely if, absolutely if it if it go if it hits the roof it could have multiplied True. by by many folds okay and uh, satish acharya is, is another artist that you that you guys are oh, having yes. and i think he yes. keeps on posting he he is yes. very excited about the entire thing yes so we have i think uh, mm. some of the biggest names uh, so we have satish acharya is such a famous cartoonist mm. he's on our nft platform then we have prasad bhat we have shantanu hazareka we have vimal chandran who's an absolute phenomenal phenomena mm. in in south india uh, he's on our platform we have laya who's a 13 year old nft artist and uh, her short film which was uh, you know uh, something like a pdf slide but it's she converted into a short film that got selected at the busan film uh, children's film festival mm. uh, and we've got a 12 year old 12 year old artist we've got some of the best special effects artists in the country we've got musicians we've got gamers coming up we've got youtubers we've got tour travel you know travel agencies dropping their nft so great stuff happening but mm. i always get very excited about the film industry because i think with the nft space opening up we have this extra th- this new uh, ip right that has opened up you know so pehle we used to have our music rights and theatrical rights and ott rights and now we have this nft right as well Uh, the only thing i think we need to watch out for is how do we price it because for a right that was non existent earlier you cannot be charging uh, you can't be charging 10% you know of your cost of production as nft because if if for instance if you have if your the cost of your film is 10 crores and you say bhai iska 1 crore is nft rights then does that mean will you be able to sell the assets that 1 crore on the blockchain and you know make it a success so, but very early days still evolving very very early of days course, of course you know but i think the future will be uh, right now the entertainment sector is extremely excited because i have been an actor and i know how important it is to be in news and with the pandemic shutting down most events uh, actors are primarily looking to be in news that yes we've dropped an nft an nft and we've done the the tick mark i would strongly recommend we don't become this myopic and we look at the long run and engage with this community for for the long run not just do one tick mark because it's the the success is not in dropping an nft the success is in making a sale ensuring that a collector buys it and then the collector sells that asset in the secondary market and then it's a win win for the collector as well i'm sorry it's, it's a crash course i'm no, not no, talking no. about nft this is no, a crash no, course it's 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 absolutely it's it's no, i think the best part is you use you, you tell it in a very simple manner uh, so uh, it, it's it's absolutely i think a pleasure Listening yeah, I think I'm just carrying Fukre ka role from accounts teacher to NFT teacher now. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, so Vishaka, I think we we can keep on talking because this is this is evolving and this is this is truly truly exciting. It's a whole new whole new world altogether. So thank you very much uh, for for coming to our office and thank you for talking to us. and uh, enlightening us with uh, with all that you're doing right now so all the best wishes and uh, looking forward to uh, some some really exciting stuff from from you guys thank you very much thank you so much faridun pleasure being here that's all we have from border ngama keep on watching <laughs>